Hey everyone, Mucklick here. This is a guide to setting up the free audio visualizer Plane 9. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, it is a program that is very useful for my YouTube and my Twitch content that you might like to use as well. Here's a quick example of one of the things you can do with it. Pretty cool, right? And that is just one of hundreds of examples of very easy to set up things you can do with it, which can make your stream be right back screen, your intros, your outros, uh, all more interesting, or you could even have the jumping bars along the bottom for the entire show if you think it looks nice on your show. So to get started, we're gonna download this free program, which is done simply by going to www.plane9.com slash download. Click the big green free download button, run the program. You may be prompted to give it permission, hit yes, click through all the next buttons and install it. For my purposes, I don't need the screensaver, so I'm just gonna cancel that and hit finish. Now, there are two main things that are gonna be available from your start menu that we're gonna use to set this up. The first is configure plane nine. Open that up. Now, once here, you can click some different things that you think look nice and try them out. You could see the thing that I often use with the uh, turntable in the inside cube is right here, but I could also, let's say I wanted to try the smoke and see what that looks like. So I've got that selected. Now, what you will want to do to uh, save this is over here on the right hand side there are playlists if you use one of the default ones it will constantly swap between uh different ones which you know you have a little bit less control over that i like to hit new playlist and i made a new one called stream you can call it whatever you want so with stream selected i'm going to change it and we're going to select the smoke here by hitting the little green checkbox in the bottom right hand corner then go down to the start button and type in plane for plane nine windowed and open this up and it will have the settings that you just did now if I start some music. And we can see how it responds to sounds coming from the computer. Now, if we didn't like that, we could simply close that, uncheck this, and try something else. And here's what the bars look like. It is that simple. So that's how you get it set up in here. Now, how do we connect this program to our software to use it with our projects? Now, what I'm gonna do is put it back to the way that I like to have it set up with the turntable in the inside cube. And we're gonna uncheck that right there and see I've got two selected and I can confirm over here there's only two selected. If this number is higher than two, scroll through and see what else you might have accidentally left selected during your tinkering. So I can close configure plane nine at this point. I can close this browser page. We're gonna open up plane nine windowed. Do not minimize it or it will stop moving. You can have it behind the windows you're currently working in or on another screen, but you don't wanna minimize it. Now, what I did for my uses is I have a starting soon screen in OBS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move plane nine onto another monitor and I'm gonna pull OBS set here. Now go into my starting soon screen and if you give it just a second, there's plane nine in the background. So what I've done is right here is music visualizer and I've told it to capture a specific window and it's just capturing the plane nine window. So it's gotta be open and not minimized. And like I said, it can be behind another program if you wish to do so. And then above that, I've put some other things. For example, the word starting soon, which is a PNG file, so it's got a clear uh, border around it. My logo in the middle, which is also a PNG. And then we've got the design in the background. And when I'm doing the starting soon screen, I usually have some music playing. And people can basically relax and chill with the music while I am getting the stream set up. And that's truly all there is to it. There are hundreds of different combinations that you can make in here. And I do mean combinations. For example, the turntable is in the foreground, the inside cube is in the background, so those two work pretty well together. Some of the others don't work well together, but you can trial and error and try different things in here and see if there's anything you like. Great way to spice up your work if you like doing video editing or if you're doing live streams, you can just add another little kick to it. But that's all there is to setting up Plane 9. I will have a link to the free download link for Plane 9 in the description below. Doesn't cost you anything if you'd like to use it. I get asked a lot how I set up the intro to my stream and now I finally have something to refer people to. And as always, if you like this video, please consider leaving us a like for the YouTube algorithm. And if you've got any questions or comments about what I went over, please leave it in the comment section down below and subscribe for more similar content. Happy creating!